In this video, we're going to continue working on the user form in Excel. We're going to add code to the buttons so that they'll do something when the buttons are clicked. And then we'll test the user form to see if it's working the way we expect. We've copied the code for the Add This Part button from the Contextures website. And with that button selected, go to the View menu. And we want to look at the code. And we can see that the first and last line of the code are automatically created for us. And we are going to see this code run when the command add button is clicked. Now we're going to click where that cursor is flashing in between the beginning and end line and click the paste button. And when we copied the code, we copied the beginning and end. So I'm just going to delete those extras because we don't want them in there twice. And now we want to go back to the form. So view object and that takes us back to the form. The other button is the close button. So we're going to click it and click view code. Now when we run this, when we click this button, we would like the form to close. So we're going to click in between the beginning and end line and we're going to type a couple of spaces and then unload space me. And that when I click up in the first line, we can see that it puts capitals on each word. So it's recognized the code that I've typed. So it will work correctly, we hope. We want to go back to the form. So view object. And now to test it, I'm going to click on the form and click the run sub user form. And we can see that the form opens up. And I'm going to type a part one, three, four, five. When I press the tab key, it takes me to location and I'll type store. Oh, 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 two. Date is June 1, 2006. Okay. And the quantity is 20. Now when I click add this part, we can see in the background that it added that record to the database. And to test the close button, click and it closes.